So, what's up? What's going on? It says some of everything. And as always, I'm giving y'all some of this and some of that. So, the question that many people be wanting to know, do I bleach my hair? And the answer is no. I surely don't. I do not bleach my hair. I don't knock anyone that decides to do so. But as far as me and my hair, I'm not, I'm not on that bleaching. The reason why I don't like to use that bleach because I'm not familiar with it as far as how much to use. And, you know, when it comes to that, you have to make sure you know what you're doing. Because when you're adding that bleach and as well as that dye, if you put too much of that in your hair, your hair can be badly damaged and your hair can actually fall out. And I know people personally who have gotten their hair stripped down to the point that they had to cut all their hair off or they had to cut where the dye was. You know what I'm saying? So you can imagine that happening to you and, you know, just to get that color. So with me, since I'm not familiar with that as far as how much to use, I prefer not to do that. And the product that I use and I have it next to me right now is Creative Image Adore Ruby Red number 64. This is what I use. Let me go a little closer. But um, yeah, I've been using this product almost 10 years now. I have used green and orange. I used at one point in time. And um, I think that's about it. But with that product, I love it's semi-permanent. It gives me about 10 washes and then I have to retouch my hair. So that's not bad at all. It doesn't have any alcohol, no peroxide, ammonia, and etc. So this is the product that I've grown to love. I haven't lost any hair from it. You know what I'm saying? My hair still is growing. That is something that I love about the product because it works for me. And a lot of people don't understand that when it comes to your hair, you have to make sure you use things that works for you. Like, you can't always look at someone else's hair and be like, I want it just like that, and I'm upset that it didn't happen that way. You have to take the time out to study your hair. That's it, you know? Have a little patience. You know what I'm saying? Treat your hair as if it's your baby, you know? And that's what I do. I've been doing that for many years. Like, I took the time out. I know what works for my hair. And that's what a lot of people don't want to do. Just like when you go to the store, it's like how you picking that outfit out, and you going out on the weekend, and you taking your time from your shoes to your jewelry and everything like that do the same thing with your hair it's okay you know your hair is a part of you so treat your hair like your baby you know what i'm saying treat your hair like your pride and joy and find different ways that works for you and that's why i said i took the time out i did and dab into different dyes but i still was you know precaution when it comes to dyeing my hair i make sure it didn't have any bleach and certain chemicals and then I went from there because a lot of people were saying like, oh, you're not going to never be able to dye your hair. You're not going to get that red you want. You're not going to get that green you want. And you know what I looked at it as? Like, okay, well, let me see. So when I took the time out and I studied my hair, this is what you get right here. You know what I'm saying? This that ruby red that I got. So for all the people that be saying like, oh, you can't dye your hair. You're not going to get that color unless you bleach it. Everybody here is different. Like my hair tape very well with Adore, you know what I'm saying, with this product right here. Adore, creative image number 64. Like I said, some people hair don't take with this. I know some people personally, they don't try this and they be like, man, my hair ain't take, my hair's still black. So you have to find different products, you know? And when it comes to dyeing my hair, I don't dye my hair like every month. You know, I take a breather. Like if I dye it like I'm dying it right now, I won't dye my hair over to like another six to seven months and sometimes a year. So, like I said, take the time out to know you're here. You know, have a little patience. That's it. You'll be good to go because I hate to see y'all get those nice looking colors and people telling you you got to bleach your hair. And then once you bleach it, you run here bald head and you ain't got no hair. You feel me? Like, you ain't got nada. I don't want y'all to go down like that. I really don't. I don't want to see y'all around. You got to cover your hair up. And you know what I'm saying? You got to explain to people what happened to your head because you want to bleach your hair. And you want to be in a rush just to get that color. So before you think about bleaching your hair, and be careful who you go to to do your hair because a lot of people may say they're not a bleach hair. Got license and all. Now, I'm telling you. I done seen some people went down. So like I said, y'all be careful with that bleach. Like I said, I'm not knocking it. But as far as for me, this is what I prefer to use right here. So like I said, y'all can buy this at your local stores, beauty supply stores. You can look online. This bottle is $5. You feel me? That's it. Five bucks. 
I don't have to add no lifter, nothing. I just put this directly on my hair and I'm good to go. So I will actually be uploading the video soon on the process, how I dyed and how I put it on and all that. So y'all stay tuned to that process, how I get my dye going and have it looking like this right here, you know, that ruby red. So I just want to stop by, you know, and answer that question for y'all. So the answer is no, I do not bleach. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free. The information will be in the description box. And as always, peace, love, and light. My kings and queens, y'all be easy. And I'm out.